Halloween is fast approaching, and I thought, for a bit of fun, we would raise the dead. This is Reincarnation A Demon's Day Out Remastered, and if you are not familiar with the Reincarnation series, oh boy, have I got a history lesson of Flash game proportions ready for you. The Reincarnation series, back in the day, was a point-and-click puzzle game variety where you played as imps in hell, trying to bring back uh, people that have reincarnated, that are still pretty evil. So you're doing good, even though you're pretty evil. You do some weird shit, let's just say that, to get these people back to hell. And A Demon's Day Out was the first. And this is remastered by the original creator of the Reincarnation series. So I have really high hopes for this being good. Is it though? Well, let's find out, shall we? Oh god, no! Oh! Oh! Ow! My spleen! Uh, I need to lay low and not draw any attention to Well, you did a real good job with that, right huh? Until I can find that reincarnate. Right, so... Let's begin with the basics, then, shall we? This is a point-and-click puzzle game, like I said, so obviously you are going to need to point and or click. So, all you'll need is your mouse, woo, and your mouse's left click. Look, we have a lovely little X-bone uh, mouse cursor here. Now, you wouldn't think that a little mouse cursor like that was a big improvement, but it actually is. This is one of the few major improvements and changes that the game has. See, if you weren't around for original browser flash games of the point-and-click variety, you would know that they were quite difficult. Not because the puzzles were hard, but because you didn't know what you were interacting with or could interact with. Now, with modern technology, woo! Uh, we can take our mouse cursor and just hover over something that is interactable, and it will show us, "Hey, this is interactable." It's a, it's a huge improvement, and you wouldn't think it, but it is. I love it. The other thing that is a big change to this game is actually the interacting with objects and things around the screen. See, if we just click our right, cl uh, not right, our left click, dyslexia, yay! Uh, if we just click our left click, you'd think that would interact with it. But no, it doesn't. Instead, we have to hold our left click and a little spinny wheel of vileness comes up on our screen. Uh, we can either with that uh, grab or interact with the object, look and observe, or speak with and or lick and taste? I'm not really sure. Uh, let's interact with the door. It's locked. You're right, it is locked, Vile. So we're gonna need to get that open specifically with uh, a doorbell here. We'll just ring the doorbell, and... Who's there? Telegram! Ah, there is the reincarnate. Now I just need a way in. Excellent. So we know we can open the door, but we need to keep it open. And that's where the puzzle comes in. Third and final thing that is an improvement slash change to the game is its artwork. Now, I am a sucker for the original artwork. I love a classic, I always will. However, this artwork feels Flash game. It looks modern, but it still has that old school flair to it, that in its movement and interactions. It feels just enough janky, but still really smooth and it, it still feels like an old school. This, it, 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 this, this game still feels like I am back in the day playing a point and click game, even though it is modern day. And that right there is probably the biggest praise I can give this game, that it still feels like a Flash game. So, 
let's play the Flash game, shall we? Yay! So we have to open the door. Let us interact with a few things. Well, there's a cobweb here. Let's take a, a look. sticky web that is great for catching mm -hmm. insects. So let's click again and grab it. We now add it to our inventory. There was this bush here. It's a bush. You're right. It is a bush file. Let's interact with it. And we have a frog. Excellent. Let's grab the frog. Oh, the no. The beast got away from me. I'll need to keep him at bay. That's unfortunate. So let's just re-click the bush and have infinite frogs now spawn. Uh, <laughs> instead, how about we look at this trash can? It's a smelly trash can. Mm. Something is moving inside. Ooh, something moving, you say? We've got a bunch of flies. Ooh, this is going to be really important. Now, let's go into our inventory. I, I said that there was no more changes, but this actually is another big change. Uh, in the original, you didn't have an inventory. It was point, click, action, everything was on screen. In this game, we have an inventory. If we click the button on the inventory, uh, we now have a load of boxes in Pandora's box. Don't, don't at me on that. Satan told me it's what it was called. I'll, I'll just open it and close it however many times I want. In this menu, we have a couple options, actually. One, and the obvious, is to click on the items that we have and move them out of the screen uh, all around and use them like we would. Yoink! So now we have a fly. The next thing also is we can click and interact with what we have. These multi-eyed bugs are quite the nuisance, but they seem to be rather tasty. Yes, mmm, a lovely snack. We can, of course, inspect and do things with the items we have in our inventory. Third, and finally, though, we can use it to combine items. We can't do that on this screen, but in later puzzle level screens we can we're not going to show you that well i'm not going to show you that because that's for you to find out uh for me though i'm going to take the fly and give it to the frog he's all nice and busy so i'm going to click and grab the boy my frog now now this is where the weird moon logic of old school point and click games come in we are going to grab the frog and fill the frog up with water Again, could be making a inappropriate joke there. Not going to. Uh, with that, we're gonna click on the door with the frog. And squirt the man in the face with the frog water. Looks like that got him to leave the door ajar. Yay! Let's go see Puzzle what solved! He has been up to. Stupid neighborhood kids and their squirt guns. I didn't get a good look at who did it. But once I find out, there will be hell to pay. Emphasis on pay. <laughs> right. So, at this stage of the game, I am going to just stop playing. Obviously, in a point-and-click puzzle game, the puzzles are the main attraction. However, there are some things I would like to talk about about this new version that aren't as good as the original. And to do that, we're going to have to take a trip back in time. Oh god, not again! I need oh, to God, find my a way spleen. inside the reincarnate's house so I can bring him back to hell. Oh, boy, you never get used to that. Oh, well. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to 2008. This is the original reincarnation A Demon's Day Out. Already, you can see the art style changes and whatnot. But here is where the real problem well, not problem, but my own little gripe that I think will be a problem to some people. The original game obviously uh, plays very similar to the remake. Uh, you have your mouse, no cursor, uh, and you interact with things along the screen. Here we're gonna Who's click on there? the door. Opens the door. 
we already know that the reincarnate is in the house. So, all we have to do is click on the bush somewhere. There it is. And a frog pops out. We grab the frog. Doesn't go into our inventory system. Uh, instead, it just hovers there menacingly. Well, not really menacing. I think the eyes are very vacant. Uh, we're gonna fill it with water. I'm about to perform evil. Fill that up, make sure it doesn't pop, go all Shrek on that frog, uh, and we then click on the frog, interact with the door, What now? splash the man in the face, throw the frog into hell. He must have done something, I don't know. Maybe he caused a car crash jumping into the road. Maybe he was Frogger. He probably causes a bunch of car crashes. And anyway, we have the door open right now. And there is the problem. It might not seem obvious, but here it goes. This game is snappy. When you know, obviously, when you interact with stuff. But even still, it is a faster-paced game. And things go a lot smoother. In the remake, it's a bit clunky feeling because of how you interact with things, the little wheel pops up and you can multiply uh, how many interactions you can do with said object. It feels a little slow. It's not a big problem to me, but I can guarantee that there are going to be some people that find it annoying and not really mesh with the game very well, which is a shame because, like I was saying, the remake is really good. So, I think if some of the interactions were just sped up a little bit, especially that wheel, it would go over really well. Hopefully that gets changed in what will be more remakes and remasters of the Reincarnation series, but we can only hope when the developer, you know, figures that out. I'm not too pissed off about it, or really care. This is a whole new system for the developer, because obviously the original developer made this and the remake. They had to change formats. There's a whole story behind it in the Kickstarter. It's actually a really interesting, uh, it's a really interesting read. Uh, so I also suggest doing your research and looking into that. Uh, but that is the only thing I find to be not great about the remake. Otherwise, go and play it. You will very much enjoy it. The link to that and you know what? Fuck it. Let's put the original in the link in the description to play them on Newgrounds. Uh, do the whole Flash game app thing that Newgrounds does. It's it's actually really good. Go check it out. My name is Ben Dark Arts, and to finish this video off, a little bit of trivia. If you could hear it yourself, uh, the person that played Vile, both in the remake and in the original, are the same person. The 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 guy the the voice actor came back to voice Vile, even though they have actually made it really big and are Sonic the Hedgehog in, I think, a TV show. So it just goes to show you that little Flash games can really, really bring about big things. And again, this is why I love that this game has been remastered, because oh, it's just great to see these things thrive again.